Well, look at this absolutely stunning evening over the lake. Absolutely gorgeous. What can you say? Um, I'm out in this area here. I'm going to try something that I'm not sure I'm going to get away with, to be perfectly honest with you. There's absolutely no shade in this room. I see myself having to hide in them trees over later, there later on. I have bought a brolly and a bit of a tarpaulin that I can put up and put over to uh, give me some shade tomorrow. But there is supposed to be a good bit of a blow tomorrow. I'm just going to take the temperature down to about sort of 22 degrees, I'm hoping. If it's 22 degrees, I can live with it. And hopefully, it'll all be good. But yeah. There we go. My swim. Looking good. Looking wonderful. Um, I haven't really done a lot really. It's basically I sat in here for about half an hour, 45 minutes when I left the other weekend after fishing with Ian and blanking, knowing that the fish were out there. And um, I've been watching them topping and showing, so I just thought I've just got to got to come back and sort of give it a go in that, that area, realistically. And um, I did go around and look in the shady swim, but it's, it's a long way out. And I know if I fish to the right of what I think I'm fishing to, and uh, they just go up and over it and wrap themselves around a boulder and I lose them. Now, this, I'm fishing either side of it. And I'm hoping with a bit of height that's in this ground, and I'm not fishing as far out as I have done in the past and here. Um, I want to get away with it. Only time will tell. Only getting a few bites will tell. Um, I sort of moved in behind um, moved behind Chris Paul, actually. He was in here today doing a day session, and he had three. So a little bit of hope that the fish were here still. And I was right, they were. And he'd had someone that'd been mooching around that area since I left um, last Sunday, and we're now on uh, now Wednesday. I, 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 he didn't put a lot of bait out, and I don't think I'm even going to put. Well, I don't think I'm actually going to put any bait out at all. Those fish are around that area for whatever the reason they want to be around that area, and it certainly isn't for bait. So in that case, it's just got to be. I've put a little bit of video at the end of my um, last session with the fish crashing out. It's uh, on or around those spots where I'm fishing. And uh, yeah, so having a chat with him because he was just packing up and going to get his barrow back in the car. Um, so we went an hour having a chat and then went round and had a look on the, the island swim. Came back here and had a look. <sighs> really felt I had to be in this swim, check the forecast, and we shall see. We shall see how it goes. I've Got an umbrella so I can sit under that. Um, even got a tarpaulin I can sort of put up over me, sit underneath that so I can get sort of a shade in the breeze. If I zoom in here, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it really. I see a fish just going by now. Uh, no, I've lost it now. It was just on the surface, somewhere around there. Yeah, they're all around here, and they, they were last week. That's what that sort of... Ian and I could see this, and that's one of the reasons why we stayed in there and didn't move and had utter confidence that we were going to catch, but clearly didn't. So I'm going to try a different approach. Oh, there we are. Look at that. Where are we? I'm not sure if you can see it. No, there's a little bit of a ripple there. It's a little bit of a tiny bow wave just drifted from the... Left or right out of the bay. Uh, yeah, that's another thing I want to keep an eye on. Got to keep an eye on this bay here. Because we know they're in there and we know they're showing there, but trying to fish it is, 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 is oh, it's going to be absolute bedlam. Absolute bedlam in there. There's really, really shallow, and if, if I zoom in, there's, there's, um, siltweed on the surface and everything like that. I think I might have put at the end of the last video, there's a, fish with its tail out of the water, that's in amongst that lot, but I, I know it's just a, a hole, a deep hole they've probably dug out, the rest of it is like a foot deep, 
No, it's, uh, yeah, it's all, um, all entertaining here. So we'll see. As I said, I might, um, might completely and utterly regret it and um, roast myself and have to run away to the uh, back under the trees. But I haven't got, I've got, well, I've set up pretty, pretty lightly, realistically. They're just a uh, in the stuff just dumped around there, really. No ground sheep. Um, fingers crossed, really. My wellies down there because I'm going to need them if I have to net a fish. That's one thing you do have to do in here. Make sure they try and shoot up that side. But there's a place, as long as I can get out of that brolly and feel the breeze, that'd be quite good. I've, uh, speaking to one of my friends, um, today, and he was on about you can buy these portable USB air coolers. And, uh, I've ordered one of those from Amazon, they're about 20 quid. You know, which I'd spoken to the day before, because I've had it arriving today rather than arriving tomorrow by 10 o'clock. I have also snuck down a day earlier than I normally would do. It's Wednesday evening, and I normally sort of uh, come down on a uh, come down on a Thursday morning. But I thought this week I've got the opportunity to come down on the Wednesday after the wife gets home from work and get back Saturday morning. All this uh, another amber warning for this monster heat wave coming in on Sunday. So yeah, it's got to be. Definitely got to be worth a go. Right. I need a drink now to rehydrate after setting up. Um, I'll probably need something to eat as well, actually, to be honest with you. But uh, see where we go with that one. No idea what the time is. Must be half past. Or, I don't know, really. Half past seven. Something like that. I'm not sure, but there you go. Right. Do like that view. Do like it.